What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and once again you guys really killed it on the last video and seeing the channel grow so much over the last week I had a feeling that by Monday or midway through Monday we would hit 97,000 subscribers and it looks like that is the case currently it's 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and we're like 19 subscribers away so once again, shout out to you guys. Greatly appreciate the love and support. And we're going to keep on moving. Now to give you the highlight of this video, we have a lot of information of what's coming out from Jordan Brand during summer 2019. Some of this stuff has leaked. Some of it has not leaked yet or just leaked, I should say. And along with images, we have release dates and the price of each. We also have more from Jordan Brand, some things from Nike and one thing from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. We're going to start things off with Adidas and take a look at the upcoming Yeezy Boost 700 V2 known as Vanta. Now this is a Photoshop so the actual release may look different and doing some research and what I mean by research is googling what Vanta is the darkest color on earth. Now the look is a bit simple. This pair features black mesh across the upper along with dark gray suede. In addition, they'll have reflective hits on the panels, a thick midsole which is covered in black and gray, and then of course, boost cushioning. Now we currently don't have release information. They're expected to either release during summer or fall 2019 of course, and retail price will be 300. On to Nike and we have a release date for the Air Max 2 Lite known as Purple Berry. Now this is an original colorway that dropped back in 1994 and the official color description is white, court purple, and hyper pink. Both purple and white land on the upper while leather lands on the overlays. That vibrant shade of pink is placed within the Air Max unit as well as the insoles and then the look is completed with a purple outsole. As for a release date, they are set to drop on April 5th and retail price is 140 In one of the videos I did last week, I showed a preview of the Sakai Nike Blazer Mid that will release in yellow and blue. Now that preview, it was not a great image now we have a detailed look and once again this collaboration features a double theme for example we have double laces double swoosh logos on the panels double hill overlay etc now for the base we have yellow and on the swoosh and tongue branding is baby blue white pretty much covers the rest of the shoe however we do have a set of black laces that are being used and then completing the look is a gum outsole so for this Sakai Nike Blazer mid collaboration we don't have a release date or a retail price. On April 19th, there will be two colorways dropping and those two will retail at 140. So when this pair does drop, I expect them to cost 140 as well. Over the weekend, the Nike LeBron 16 Air Trainer released, which pays tribute to the original Nike Air Trainer 3 known as Medicine Ball. And that pair originally released in 1988. Shortly after this pair sold out online, Nike announced that they would bring back the original Nike Air Trainer 3 Medicine Ball, which we last saw launch in 2014. Going over the shoes, they feature a white, midnight navy, ginger, and light bone color combination. White leather is used across the upper while both ginger and navy blue lands on the overlays. Now onto the release details details they will drop on april 25th and retail price is set at 130. we now have our best look yet at the nike pg3 nasa apollo missions now in the last video we got pretty much a detailed look and i've gone over pretty much all the smaller details on this shoe for example we have paul george's hometown area code on the midsole and then the famous quote by paul brandt don't tell me the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon that also lands on the midsole and wraps the hill now they do come in a clean white and metallic gold color combination as well as what appears to be a flight tag. Now the flight tag features 661-1990-405. 1990 represents the year Paul George was born. 405 is the area code for Oklahoma. And then 661 is also an area code and that's for Palmdale where George was born. And it's also the location of NASA's Armstrong Building 703. Now, sadly, we don't have additional release information. If you're filling the shoe, they are expected to release sometime during April and retail price is set at 120. Now we're 
at Jordan Brand, and we're going to start off a bit slow, but things are going to heat up very quickly. But first up, we have a look at an upcoming grade school exclusive, and this is, of course, the Air Jordan 1 Mid. This pair features shades of purple and blue throughout, and then on the overlays, we have metallic purple, and it kind of has like an iridescent finish. Following, we have the shade of gold that's used on the insoles, and then white lance on the midsole and outsole. As far as release details, this pair doesn't have any. They should arrive soon. I don't expect there to be a release date. Once a retailer gets their shipment in, they're going to throw them on the shelves, but the retail price will be 90. Jordan brand has now started to release a new pair of the Jordan 6 rings. Once again, they are visiting a classic colorway used on the Air Jordan 11. And as many of you know, this is the cool gray edition featuring a cool gray, white and wolf gray color combination, cool gray lance on the mesh upper, and then wolf gray is applied to the patent leather mud guards. White then lands on the laces and midsole. And then the look is completed with a translucent outsole. So for those that want to grab this pair, retailers have started to release them already. If you're feeling the shoe, you can grab right now at Foot Locker and retail price is 165. Now, if anybody does want to purchase this shoe, I'll put a link in the description below taking you straight there. Now, this is a pair I'm really, really excited for. This is the Air Jordan 1 crib that comes in the bread, AKA band colorway. So going over the shoes, they come in your bread color combination, the same blocking. It appears that they do have a white rubber outsole. The upper features leather, and then we have nylon on the tongue and toe while Nike Air branding lands on the tongue. So overall, this pair does resemble the Air Jordan 1 bread release, but the last detail on the shoe, which is different, it has a looped pull tab on the heel, so it'll be easier to put them on or take them off. Now, I definitely plan on grabbing these for my son, but unfortunately, I'm not sure when they're going to release. I've been getting a lot of questions about this shoe, and they are expected to arrive soon. I do know that a few overseas retailers got them, I believe Nike in China, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But when this pair does release, it will cost 40 bucks. We're going to talk about two models that I've featured quite a few times already, and we're going to read from the press release and then we'll get back to the other pairs part of the summer 2019 collection. First up we have is the Air Jordan 14 in white and red. Many are calling them candy cane and originally being called Rip Hamilton. From the press release, celebrating the 20 year anniversary of the Air Jordan 14, a classic colorway returns in true OG form. The silhouette inspired by luxury sports car styling has been produced as a stitch for stitch replica. The April 6 release also comes with original packaging and signature hang tags. So like it mentioned, April 6 is the release date and retail price is 190. Now, what I'm really happy about here is that they had no mention of Rip Hamilton. I'm not sure how that nickname got associated in the first place with this shoe. I mean, I know he wore them in college, but just to bring that back up, I mean, it didn't make sense to me. And when they first released, I made mention of that. Next is the Air Jordan 13 cap and gown. Also reading from the press release, for years, the Jumpman community has celebrated milestones in their favorite Air Jordans. Following last year's cap and gown Air Jordan 11, the Air Jordan 13 is dressed in a patent leather upper and dark translucent outsole with metal emblem and tassel inspired laces. So the official release date is April 27th and retail price is 190. We have a look at four upcoming colorways of the Air Jordan 4 Flyknit. Now each pair uses a solid color. We have Flyknit used across the upper while plastic lands on the winged eyelets and the back heel tab. Now the four colorways includes Hyper Royal in black, University Red in black, Volt in black, and last but not least, Total Orange and Gunsmoke. Now for the release details, they are going to release on June 14th and retail price is set at 220 each. This will also be a regional release. The specific regions matched with the colors is unknown at this time, but more than likely we'll hear something probably in the next month, maybe sooner than that. Jordan Brand also officially unveiled the Air Jordan 7 Ray Allen. Hall of Famer Ray Allen has one of the most storied Jordan PE collections in history. To celebrate the 23rd anniversary of his draft, a special colorway of the Air Jordan 7 that brings together two of Allen's PEs 
from his time in Milwaukee. So I showed off in previous videos of those two colorways, which is labeled as the Bucks Home and Bucks Away. Other than mashing both colorways onto one shoe, the biggest difference here is that the upper features new buck. On the two player exclusives made exclusively for Ray Allen, it had leather. I personally think this is a very, very dope pair. I plan on grabbing them. Now, breaking down the release information, they drop on June 1st and retail price will be 190. The Air Jordan 6, Air Jordan 7, and Air Jordan 8 will all come together for a new pack known as Reflections of a Champion Pack. This collection pays tribute to Michael Jordan's first three-peat and the shoes that he wore, but of course they changed things up. So basically what we have is the Air Jordan 6 Infrared, Air Jordan 7 Cardinal, and the Air Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny. Now, the biggest difference here is on the upper, they remove the color. So for the Air Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny and the Air Jordan 7 Cardinal, they removed the white and now it'll feature reflective, kind of like a silver hint to it. For the Air Jordan 6, they removed the black and did the same. Now, once the light hits each pair, it'll have reflective 3M that really, really pops. All three pairs are set to release on June 8th and retail price is $225 each. Last but not least, and I know a lot of people have been asking me about this shoe. Finally, we have a set release date and a first look. This is the Air Jordan 14 yellow Ferrari, also being called reverse Ferrari. And reading from the press release, MJ's love for Italian sports cars has served as inspiration for many of his sneaker designs. And this colorway matches one of the most famous of these, the Air Jordan 14 with a flashy new finish. Early on, there was a Photoshop that was put out. It showed this shoe featuring a suede upper, just like the original Ferrari release. But the actual release is going to feature leather and the leather quality does look nice. Yes, I am slightly biased because the Air Jordan 14 is my favorite model. In addition, we have carbon fiber used on the midsole, black on the tongue, laces, liner, and other small detailing throughout. Red also lands on most of the branding. And then we have a chrome shank plate in the midfoot. Now, originally these were set to drop on Cinco de Mayo. That has changed and the new date is June 22nd. So we're gonna have to wait a bit longer for this pair. And retail price is set at 200. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. A few updates for you guys. I'm going to finish the April 2019 Air Jordan release dates video very, very soon. But I felt I needed to get this video out because if I waited on it, it would be too late. I almost feel like it's almost too late now because I saw a ton of people uploading videos on Sunday. But I feel like I add a little bit something unique to these videos compared to others. And that's no disrespect to them. Also, those photoshops that I promised in the last video, two out of the three are done. One of the images, I'm not a huge fan of what it looks like. I don't feel like it represents it that well. So that should be done soon. And that video I planned on uploading Tuesday, if not Tuesday, Wednesday. But if I don't upload on Tuesday, it's going to be the April 2019 Air Jordan release dates video. Now, if you like, you can leave a comment below. Let me know which of those two videos you would like to see first. Other than that, just want to thank everybody for the support. Thanks for watching these videos. Always appreciate it and expect more info to come this week. So stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.